Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in MLS Next Pro. We will take you backward last seven days and get you ready for the next seven days in US in uh, MLS Next Pro. And we'll let you know what happened over the last seven days. A lot of goals, and some folks are now into the playoffs. More teams are now fading out. We kind of know what the Western picture is going to be like. We'll go through all the news and notes and get you ready for everything coming up over the next seven days. But before we do that, we got to go back over the last seven days and get you into our matches of the week, and there were plenty. Starting back on the 21st, it was New England and Chattanooga FC going longer than 90 minutes, 1-1 after 90, and Chattanooga FC wins 5-4 on PKs. News coming up on Chattanooga FC in just a little bit. Whitecaps 2 at Swangard, 3-1 winners over Tacoma Defiance, getting a win to lead into the big Sunday. And in Sunday on the 22nd, Carolina Core, a big win on the road over Columbus Crew 2, 2-0 at Historic Crew Stadium. Red Bulls 2 beat Toronto FC 2, 2-0 at Montclair. That eliminated Toronto FC 2 from postseason competition. Dynamo Dose, Houston, uh, Dynamo 2, 2-1 winners over Colorado Rapids 2 at Sabercat Stadium. Gets us to our first match of the week, and it's out west. It is at Children's Mercy Victory Field, Sporting Kansas City 2 and Loons 2, Minnesota United FC 2. Here's your highlights courtesy of our friends at MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. Between the sticks today, played well last week in that win at Rapids 2. Visconti, Cristiano, is quite an experienced back line. They've gotten a lot of first team experience playing down with the second team lately. Mark Hanek, Padilla. As he checks his watch and blows the opening whistle and we are in motion in Kansas City. SKC2 would go back above the playoff line with even a point today. To start the match, there's lots of energy both ways, and then all of a sudden all the air comes out of the balloon for almost 10 minutes. But <clears throat> here they go again. Minnesota United pulled to the penalty spot and a big save early on, and then it's cleared off the doorstep. See Minnesota United lining up five in that main wall. And it is Hobby Bula who scores. He went around the wall. And Javi Bula breaks through. They needed his goals down the stretch, and he has a big one today. And he has grown and improved so much this season. Here's Avila threading it through. Big chance for a second goal around the keeper. It is a second goal. It's Maloon Gumbale and Sporting KC2. A blistering sequence. They double their lead. Just three minutes in. Out swinging corner into a good area, and there is a goal back for Minnesota United. Exactly what they needed before halftime. They are right back in it. It's 2 1. United. This is a great first touch by Nieves. And Nieves to the end line. His cross toward the back post into the mix it goes. It's 2 2. Incredible. Minnesota United, 2-0 down, looked dead and buried for most of the first half. They've Number rallied four, back four, with four, two four, late four, ones, four, and before halftime, they are... It is being given to Martinez. And there is the halftime whistle. So a remarkable turnaround in the final minutes of that half. No substitutions at halftime. We continue with the same 11s that began this match. I should... Check that, of course, Mason Visconti had to leave the match very early with that unfortunate injury. Uh, we are back in motion here in Kansas City. This falls from Masanvi. Nieves, Masanvi, good interplay. Masanvi goes on, being harassed by Carson Klein. And now a stride and a hit from distance. Struck pretty well by Komet. His momentum was gone, though. Donovan, neat feet initially, and then... The ball ricocheted up off his hand and a free kick for Minnesota United. And then he kicked the ball away and has shown a yellow card for that. And that's his second yellow, I believe. Sam Shashua will take this one. And takes it into the middle. What a save. Touched over the bar by Jacob Molinaro. Instinctive, reactive. And now it's Nieves. Nieves uses his strength very well. Nieves chops onto his left. Nieves on frame, but Molinaro again. In the Sanvi persisting after it and wins it back. And now Randall. Randall to the end line. Back to his left. 
pulls it back. Masanvi scuffed it first time, comes through to Martinez, who didn't get a hold of it cleanly either. A decently creative finish attempt by Martinez when you see it back, hit it with the outside of his right foot. That was about all he could do from where his body was. Not enough to beat Molinaro, though. He tries again from range, and Molinaro again touches it over the bar and continues to put on a show. And Cut out crucially by Aiden Martinez, who starts it the other direction. And it's lobbed over the top for Shashua, who's in. Shashua scores! On the counterattack, the Loons lead for the first time today. 2-0 down in the first half, a game they have to win. Sebastian Cruz came on at the left back spot early in the first half. He's essentially playing as a forward now. And around the back, it's a great ball in. And out to smother it, Molinaro, or at least block it out. It'll be a throw. Good footwork, Martinez. Here's Randall again. Randall cuts inside. Randall scores! And that should do it for the Loons. They love the rain. They complete their comeback and salt away the three points. It should keep their playoff hopes narrowly alive. It's going to be a maybe time for one more for Nieves. And on into the path. Pulled back. Nieves onto his left. Nieves blocked by Natty Clark. Uh, there's the final whistle. What a turnaround. What a victory for Minnesota United 2. Six goals on the board. Loons 2. Double up Sporting Kansas City 2. Big win for them as they're trying to stay alive in the Western Conference playoff picture. Also, the town, 2 0 winners over St. Louis City SC2. FC Cincinnati, 2 beat Huntsville City Football Club, 2 0 at Wicks Family Field at Joe Davis Stadium. And at Choctaw, North Texas beat Austin FC2, Los Verdos, 2 1 in Copa Tejas, MLS Next Pro Style. Monday gets us to match number two Philadelphia and NYCFC2 at Subaru Park in Chester. Early afternoon start there. Here's your highlights once again, courtesy of our friends at MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. Marlon LaPlanc, it's the 4-4-2 diamond, as always for Philadelphia. Features five changes from the 3-2 loss against Miami. It is the experienced Jonathan Jimenez who will help to lead the line today. Four goals and four assists for Jimenez. There is the whistle, and we are underway from Subaru Park. It's Philadelphia and New York City for the second time in 2024. Start from the get-go today for Union 2. Anderson leading the attack. Anderson's effort pushed away. Alex Rando at full stretch. Sullivan collects and charging forward. Kevin Sullivan with numbers for Philadelphia. Now CJ Olney, the cutback ball. It's met and it's scored! A beautiful move from... Cuts it in field, lets Olney run by. Sullivan closes down the space and wins it back for Philadelphia. Now Anderson. Here's Kevin Sullivan. Sullivan charging forward, coming in field. Sullivan's effort pushed away. New York Red Bulls, too, in one of the early rounds also helps. Trying to turn the corners, the cross comes in. It's Calhera! Just touches it over the line. Goal number 14 this year for Taylor. New York City coming forward again. Shore coming forward, lays it off. It's Maximo Carrizo saved. The Menez scores. Jimenez follows up the shot. And New York City, after conceding early, goes to ground. It keeps it alive. Baera still. Now Carrizo moves it off for Elias through the legs. And now the shot's in the corner. Jonathan Shore scores for New York City. It is three unanswered goals for New York City. Now Vasquez going direct through the middle. Eddie Davis. Davis could be in. Davis cuts it back. Hope guns. It's a point to the spot. A penalty on the way for Philadelphia. It was also Rio Hope Gunn who picked up a yellow card. Now Nick Pariano for Philadelphia, and he rolls it in the corner. And Union 2 have two in the first half. Just a one-goal deficit now. 
A great first 45 minutes here at Subaru Park, and it may not be done yet. And that pass is too strong and through for Alex Rando. And Alejo Kalume will bring this first 45 minutes to a close. Players are ready, and so are we. The second half is underway from Chester. A Philadelphia side that has won two of their last five games. They've scored. Turned over, and a chance for Eddie Davis, and he makes no mistakes. Philadelphia equalize at three, and we are back to... Another chance to cross, it's Jimenez, it hit him in the hip. Couldn't bring it down. Hope gone to heavy touch, and now Philadelphia off to the races. Marcus Anderson, Anderson, Cuts it back, it's Kevin Sullivan for Eddie Davis. It's saved by Rando. Two-man wall at the near post. Sullivan whipping it in, the header's in! Frankie Westfield scores for Philadelphia and they restore their advantage at 4-3. And he's leading the break, the center back. Now for Sal Olivas. It's laid off and the shot is low. It's right at Rando who makes the save and then holds on to it in the end. Cut back for Tao. The cross fired in, the heads go up. And that is the final whistle. Philadelphia Union 2 hang on in a seven goal thriller. Seven goals on the board, craziness in an early afternoon. You want to talk about a match on espresso, that was it. Union 2 gets the full points, 4-3 over NYCFC. OCB 3-0 winners over Chicago Fire 2 at Osceola Heritage Park. Royal Monarchs go to Titan Stadium on the campus of Cal State Fullerton and beat LAFC 2 by the final of 2-0. Then that gets us to Tuesday's action, Enter Miami 2 and Atlanta United 2. The home finale for the five stripes. Here's your highlights on the SDH network. Jason Longshore on the call from Fifth Third Bank Stadium. Good low pass all the way across to Gajardo. Overlap from Edwards. He receives it in the 18. Drives in across. It's deflected back to Armas. Shot blocked and deflected. Still there in the six until Jensen grabs it. Nery couldn't get on it. Armas tried to side foot that one through traffic. It got blocked and was bouncing around the top of the six until Colt Jensen claimed it. Drop back to Armas, through to Gajardo. Turns it inside, Armas runs through an arm, arm tackle. Armas to the left side to Chong Kui. Chong Kui, low drive, saved by Jensen. Nearly found Firmino. Think Chong Kui was going for the cross there. Jensen had to deal with it either way as Nick Firmino was on the doorstep. Cutting into the 18, multiple step overs. Cutting inside on the right foot. Carlton can't get the shot off. Leaves it for Okello. Back to the left side to Chong Kui. Chong Kui to the end line. With the nutmeg, and he's bodied off of it on the far side. No call. Goal kick. Zeltzer Zubita cuts in on the right foot. Puts in a cross. Intended for Carmichael. That's going to skip all the way out on the far side. Goal kick in the 28th minute for Atlanta. Barton, Sessak, long ball over the top to pick out Carmichael. Hibbert comes for it, doesn't get there. Goal, goal, goal Miami. That quickly, it's a long ball down the right side from Sessak to Carmichael. Hibbert was a step slow to come for it, and Ryan Carmichael just pops it over the Atlanta goalkeeper and into the back of the net. Ninth goal of the season for Ryan Carmichael. Seventh assist for Nick Sessak. And after a great start for Atlanta United 2, they concede first in the 32nd minute. Matt Edwards wants to go in line. Does. Puts in the cross. Back post. Over hit. Sean Quee will run it down on the left side. Sean Quee. Back to Guy Jardo. He's on the left now. Cutting across to the right. Has Carlton ahead of him. Carlton tried to scoop it through to Guy Jardo. It's blocked to Firmino. Firmino cutting across on the right foot. Takes the shot. Jensen pushes it wide. Corner Atlanta. And Miami will try to clear with Basabe, and that will do it for the first 45. So 1-0 at the break. What would happen in the second 45? Here's your highlights once again, courtesy of the SDH Network with Jason 
on the call. Atlanta United 2 trying to chase after an equalizer and come away with points at home for the last time in 2024. Carmichael put it right at Jaden Hibbert. He makes a comfortable save, throws it out to Firmino, taps it around Martinez. Nick Firmino driving down the middle. Cuts it around Carmichael. He's got Gajardo to the left. Matias, top of the 18. Matias, Gajardo, chips it to the backside over the bar. Sean Cui, it slipped out of his hands on the throw. Went behind Carlton. Miami saw it first. They try to play through Atlanta's pressure. Armas blocks it, but it's back to Ferreira. Atlanta, Kawazmi, he's just decked by Zeltzer Zubita, who's on a yellow card. Zeltzer Zubita goes down because he knows that he might be in some big trouble if he doesn't. It was an unnecessary challenge on Ramsey Kawazmi. He's in a lot of pain. All the way across to the left to Ephraim Morales. Down the left side for Chong Kui. Gordon making a run. He'll receive it from Dom. Ashton with the cross. Sliding effort from Nettery. He just can't quite get to it. It's put out on the far side by Basabe. Corner Atlanta. Brilliant play from the two youngsters from the Atlanta Academy. Chong Kui to Gordon. Nearly found Nettery all under the age of 20. Atlanta can't find the combination. Gordon will leave it for Aiden Torres, who has the longer throw of the bunch. Efrain Morales going up into the 18. Torres, he will launch this into the 18. Almost to the 90-minute mark played. Thrown in, headed home by Okello, but caught by Jensen, and he falls to the ground, clutching it. Miami will play it long. Javier Armas wins it back. Drop back to Efrain Morales. Over to the left to Caden Moore. Atlanta's got to get forward, and they got to go fast. Here's Dominic Chong Kui. He turns, walks the tightrope, carries it forward. Pass inside behind Herlock. Almost got to Gordon. Miami's going to clear. Caden Moore called for the foul. It's over the head of Cooper Sanchez. Javier Armas will bring it down. Forward to Cooper. Cooper hacked down. Another nasty challenge from Miami. Show a yellow card and it means nothing at this point. Another just dirty challenge in the midfield from Miami. Hate to see that element of this game creeping in. That one's on Ledesma. A wild challenge. Free kick Atlanta. The clock ticks away. If time is not bat added back on, you should have an extra minute for the two yellow cards that have been shown. We'll see if that happens. Hibbert will run it down the middle third. We're still playing. We're past the five. Puts it down the middle. Ledesma finds it. He picks out a pass down the left. Santiago Morales breaking in. Hibbert trying to get back to the 18. Steven Herlock chases all the way back to prevent the shot and wins the ball back. Aiden Torres dispossessed on the far side. Miami put it out for a goal kick. Atlanta will take it. How much longer will they add? They are adding time. Full credit to the referee crew for doing that. We're into the 96th minute. Javier Armas breaking up the left side. His pass blocked by Ledesma. Cooper Sanchez will knock it back to Caden Moore. Back to Sanchez on the left. Forward to Firmino. He turns. He's got Chong Kui down the left. The cross into the six and caught by Jensen. And that will do it. And that eliminated Atlanta United 2 once again from uh, being a spoiler for Inter Miami's perspective as they had been eliminated last time out uh, playing Crown Legacy from being in postseason contention. So Inter Miami 2 gets full points to kind of keep the beat in the Eastern Conference. So that sets up the standings, and we'll go over what's going on a conference at a time because, once again, more teams in the West are in than in the East, and there's still a certain amount of chaos in the Eastern Conference. So let's break it all down for you. FC Cincinnati 2, two points clear at the top with two matches to go. Philadelphia Union 2 has a match, and they've got uh, two matches to go. And the last one that they have is going up against uh, Atlanta United 2 on Sunday. And that's going to be a big test for them on the 29th as the 2s take on Philly. Can the 2s be a spoiler in Chester? We get to find out. So Philadelphia Union 2 at 49 points. Then group number, uh, group number 2, Orlando City B is in the postseason. Just don't know where yet. They're at 46 points. They played 27 matches, so they only have one match to go. Inter-Miami, they are at 45 points, two matches to go. Then the real challenge begins because you have six teams separated by two points. 
five through ten, separated by two points to either get into the playoffs or figure out where you're going to be in the playoffs. NYCFC two, ten wins. Crew two, ten wins. Crown Legacy, ten wins. But you look at goal difference, it is 11 to 5, which puts NYCFC 2 ahead of the other two, and they've also scored more goals than Columbus and Crown Legacy. Columbus has scored more goals than Crown Legacy, even though they are even in wins and goal difference, so you have to go to the goal scored column to see what's going on with Crew 2 and Crown Legacy. NYCFC 2, Columbus Crew 2, Crown Legacy 5, 6, and 7. Fire 2 at 41 points, 9 wins. They are in 8th. Below the playoff bar, Carolina Core, 11 wins, 40 points. Chattanooga FC, 8 wins, 40 points. They can finish no higher than 10. They will not. They would not make the playoffs in a tiebreaker situation with anyone. But news involving Chattanooga FC, Rod Underwood and Chattanooga FC have separated from their relationship. And so Rod Underwood, no longer the head coach at Chattanooga FC. And uh, so Rod Underwood, in a bit of a shock move, it was a let go, no longer the head coach at Chattanooga FC. Two matches to go in the regular season right now at 40 points. 11th, Red Bulls 2 at 36 points. Toronto FC 2 at 34. Once again, they're eliminated with two matches to go. Atlanta United 2, they have uh, 32 points with the one match to go in Chester on Sunday afternoon. Huntsville City Football Club, 26 points, 26 matches. New England Revolution 2, 26 point, uh, 22 points. In 26 matches, 0-12-1 on the road this season. Western Conference, it is clinching the playoffs, clinching the number one seed, clinching the division title, all going to North Texas, 57 points, two matches to go. Seven points clear of St. Louis City, too. They're at 50. LAFC, two, 45 and 12 wins. The Town, 45 points, 11 wins. That's why they're three and four. Tacoma Defiance, 43 points, 12 wins. They're at 43 points in 26 matches. Ventura County is in right now. 26 matches played 42 points. And uh, they are north of Vancouver and Houston with two matches to go. Vancouver at 39. Dynamo Dose at 36. Below the playoff bar currently, and once again, this is where the fun starts. Five teams, two points, trying to get into the eighth slot. Timbers, two at 35. Sporting at 34, nine wins. Real Monarchs, 34, eight wins. Austin FC, Los Verdos, 34 points, 7 wins. Loons 2 eliminated, even with the win last time out, 29 points, 26 matches. And Colorado Rapids 2, 23 points in 26 matches. So chaos does exist getting ready for the remainder of the season involving the stretch run in MLS. Next pro, power rankings for match week 28. We go from 10 to 1. Tacoma Defiance, Inter Miami 2. Orlando City B, LAFC 2, NYCFC 2 at 6, Crew 2 at 5, Union 2 at 4, FC Cincinnati 2 at 3, North Texas SC number 2, St. Louis City SC 2 at number 1. Snapping of the regulation unbeaten streak cost them the chance of earning the number 1 seed in the West. The 2-0 road loss at the town gave them their first loss since August the 2nd, two matches remaining. And they could even drop from the two if they don't win either one of those. Next one is at Ventura County on September 29th. That's courtesy of our friend Larry Henry, Larry Henry Jr. at MLSNextPro.com. Match week 28 honors in MLS Next Pro. Team of the match week, the town for their 2-0 home victory over St. Louis City 2. Pro player of the match week, Alex Freeman for Orlando City B at the forefront of their surge up the standings. Two assists in the 3-0 home win over Chicago Fire 2 to uh, give the young fullback some recognition there. The pro rising star of match week 28, Colton Swan for Rapids 2. 17 years old, continuing to deliver. Got his second career MLS Next Pro goal despite the 2-1 road loss to Dynamo Dose. And so those are your honors from MLS Next Pro for match week 28. And so you've got all of that information out there ready for you. Now the schedule for the upcoming weekend and for the upcoming week, getting you through the month of September. Loons 2 on MLSNextPro.com hosting Colorado Rapids to 8 o'clock tomorrow night from National Sports Center in St. Paul. Los Verdos on season pass hosting Vancouver. That one is uh, Vancouver Whitecaps to at Palmer Field in Austin. That's on season pass tomorrow night, uh, Friday night, 9 o'clock. Nothing on Saturday, which leads us to Sunday and gets us 
heading into all of the other activities. Sunday, October 6th is the last week of the regular season, so we'll see what happens next Sunday to put a bow on the regular season, but some folks get to wrap up this weekend like Atlanta United 2. Crew 2, Fire 2, season pass 3 o'clock. Crown Legacy at the Erector set at Chase Stadium in Fort Lauderdale on season pass 3 o'clock on Sunday. Atlanta United 2 wraps up their season at Philadelphia at Subaru Park 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon on season pass. Toronto FC 2 on the campus of York Lions University at York, uh, York University at York Lions Stadium, York University, suburban Toronto, hosting Chattanooga FC. That'll be a bit of a surreal environment for Chattanooga FC without Rod Underwood at York Lions Stadium, 3 o'clock on season pass. 4 o'clock on nextpro.com. Sporting Kansas City 2 acting the spoiler. Uh, actually, they can't even do that. They're playing North Texas. North Texas is in the barn, and they got everything locked in on nextpro.com. Court, 5 o'clock, hosting Huntsville City Football Club on season pass. Red Bulls 2 at Montclair, hosting Revolution 2 on nextpro.com. The Town FC hosting LAFC 2 on season pass at 6. NYCFC 2 on nextpro.com, hosting FC Cincinnati 2. And this one's back at Belson Stadium. They're away from Icon on Randall's Island, so they're back on top of the parking deck at St. John's. 9 o'clock, nextpro.com, Real Monarchs, Timbers 2 at America First. 10 o'clock, nextpro.com, Tacoma Defiance, Dynamo Dose at Starfire. 10 o'clock, Ventura County on season pass, hosting St. Louis City 2. That one is at William Rolland Stadium. And that will get us through the penultimate weekend in MLS Next Pro. If you are near one of those markets and can catch MLS Next Pro, go and catch the next generation of what's going on in MLS Next Pro activity. And you get to see him and sit there and say, hey, I saw him win. And so I know everything about these particular players. If you are in market and can catch them, please do. If you are in market and can't do it, follow along on local providers, also on MLSNextPro.com and all of their social media platforms. And if you are out of market and can't follow along, go to social media, go to MLSNextPro.com, follow along your favorite teams, and come back here every single week for MLS Next Pro's views through the SDH network. The two juice boxes have to do with Friday night. Both home teams, Loons 2 and Los Verdos, are even money plus 100. Rapids 2 are a plus 209 on the road in St. Paul. And Whitecaps 2 are a plus 200 at Palmer Field in Austin, Texas. And that's another go-round of SDH on MLS Next Pro. Play safe, everybody. Enjoy the games. We'll catch up with you for the final week of the regular season. Let the playoffs begin in two. We'll see you in just a little bit. Play safe, everybody. Enjoy the game.